Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome to this collective reading. Here I'm going to be talking about the most intense situation that I've been able to channel today for those people who are going to resonate with it in some way or the other. For some of you it could be a complete resonance and some of you it could be certain percentage but this is a timeless reading whenever you listen to it, whenever you come back to it or it can be possible that I share it today right now and somebody gets to listen to it say two years later or one year later but they're still gonna get the answers to their question so let's get started and let's jump into this transmission In this collective reading, we are going to talk about the importance of negative people and negative experiences in your life. Whosoever I'm channeling, you've actually reached a very important stage in your journey with a reverse temperance over here. I can see that you have learned a huge amount of balance moderation patience because this card has come as a positive card as in to tell me surrounded uh, it's surrounded with ace of swords and with wheel of fortune so it's telling me that whosoever i'm talking about today you have figured out that negative people and negative experiences have actually taught you a lot could be toxic relationships could be toxic friendships could be toxic you know family connections but you've healed it a lot and with some people it's not like now that you've healed the situation you've healed the energy you can go and hang out with them you can chill with them you know talking to your ex or you're moving in you know with people who you can no longer live with but you have a balanced energy now you are somebody who has figured out that there was a time when you were in limbo state and all these negative experiences have helped you to awaken to come out of that limbo state and being in the limbo state was also predestined stepping out of it getting out of it is also predestined these experiences were predestined and what you learn now you are in awe and wonder whosoever i'm channeling you've been in multiple cycles phases and patterns and you've gone through a lot of trauma as well but you are doing really well as of now and this ace of sword is also connected with money it's connected with new projects so i see that there is good amount of healing in your chakras you are able to realize that in order to grow well you also need to balance out in terms of your resources it could be possible that because of your friends or because of your family member or because members or because you were trying to please some people or you saw a certain type of future you probably left your job or you you know took up some kind of business or some kind of work which was not suiting you or maybe you realize that before a lot of things went bad you were actually quite kick-ass you were really good but you were accidentally manifesting a lot of things you were an accidental manifester you didn't even know at that point in time that you liked doing those things you didn't even have the idea you thought that you're just doing it because it's need of the hour but when you lost touch with those things or when you had certain experiences where you were forced to not be yourself you were able to see the good side of those things you have developed a lot more gratitude for all the natural abilities the talents and the skills that god had given you in the first place but because of some people in your life because of certain experiences Maybe those people wanted to dim your light. Maybe those people were insecure with your gifts. Maybe they felt that if they're going to tell you the truth about who you are and how amazing you are at certain things, you're going to leave them. You're not going to be around them. So they kept sort of trying to kill your confidence. They kept trying to tell you that you're not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. Oh, why don't you do this? This will be much better for you. Why don't you do that? Why don't you go here or there? Why don't you move to this city or this country? Why don't you get into a relationship like this? So lots and lots of things uh, happened in your life. And they happened in such a way. You can say the chronology was very interesting. Which you can see now from a macro level. 
यू आर एबल टू हैव अ ड्रोन लाइक व्यू ऑफ लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ सिचुएशन विच वो अर्लियर नॉट दैट विजिबल बिकॉज यू यू आर टू डीप इन टू इट बट गोइंग टू डीप इन टू इट वॉज ऑल्सो द नीड ऑफ द आवर एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम I mean, it was God's plan that you see things from different perspectives. You understand things from different different perspectives, so that you can use duality to understand non-duality. In order to be good with singularity, or to be happy that you were born with a lot of abilities, you were born with a lot of cool things, just that you did not know. In fact, you were programmed to feel otherwise. You were programmed to not like yourself. You were programmed to not love yourself. You were programmed not to be grateful. so because of experiencing duality in such a way you have figured out that singularity is your thing and you're now walking on that path as for this reading i'm being told that there was a time when you wanted only positive experiences or rather you thought that certain experiences are positive experiences and if you get those experiences in your life if you become that type of a person if you do those things you know your life is sorted but now you realize that there's no such thing as positive or negative experience for you it's like it is what it is anything can be positive anything can be negative it all depends on your perception a lot of things also depend on how you react to things how you respond to the situations if you make it very big if you pedestalize the problems they're going to be very big but if you don't pedestalize the problems if you don't see it as a big deal whatever you want to do whatever you like to do or whatever it is that you're trying to fix look for a solution if you mentally think it's not a big deal like not theoretically but practically for real then those things will not be so big maybe some of you are stuck with money problems or you were stuck with money problems and you were doing certain things and you realize that these are not the things that i want to do but then in the past few years you tried things out you were also experimenting internally you were experimenting you were trying to figure out what is it that you want to do in life cuz you also had a perception like this is what is going to make me happy but turns out that you are a different person now with all the experiences combined together you realize that you are best in your simplest form you don't like to complicate things so much and you've learned that you don't want to react to anything if something is important it is going to happen and you're also not sitting like a potato somewhere you know it's not like you're not making any movement at all whatever is needed to be done it is happening any which way life has become more of a happen stance for you rather than you trying to do something it is happening any which way that's how you see it things are happening any which way and you you feel like you rather be an observer than assuming that you are the doer because you're actually just assuming it be it money be it good experiences be it bad experiences yes i know nobody wants to be in bad experiences but see when you're evolved when you've grown a lot immensely grown because of those so called bad experiences you can now look back and laugh at it or you can now look back and actually think that why was i even feeling this way or you can also think that it was not that bad the whole experience was not so bad in fact some of you might be thinking it was an interesting experience it was a cool experience that's why you know when people evolve a lot and somebody asks them the question would you like to do it all over again and they actually shock people by saying yes and if you look at the ego people people who come from the ego domain they become really famous wealthy like celebrities blah 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 if you ask them do you want to be this person again they always say no they always tell other people that yeah i've had this type of life and you all look at me and you're all full of adulation but i don't want to be this person ever again i ask god not to make me this person again and i've seen so many of these interviews but you if you meet a spiritualist and a spiritualist who's an evolved person if you ask the person would you like to do everything all over again even if you know that there were all these situations that were painful they will say yeah i would love to do it all over again because eventually i do realize that there's nothing really 
to feel bad about in fact it has helped me to become who i am so why not the evolved spiritualist says that if today i can smile at these things and i can laugh at these things so even if i go back into it and do it all into those things or those experiences or that life if i go back and do it all over again i'll still be back where i am today so how much worse can it get god is going to be holding my hand someone might say what if you make those mistakes that you didn't make well if i didn't make it then why am i going to make it now so be it bad relationships be it you know family problems be it whatever it is at the end all's well that that ends well that's the kind of person i'm channeling today so those who are going to resonate with this reading are people who have had lots and lots of interesting experiences they no longer want to label them they just want them to be simply experiences now this could also be connected with some people's third eye becoming activated and functioning fully because if you have uh, an open third eye or an activated third eye not only your intuition is very good but you're able to face challenges really well because you're able to see the perspective of it which other people cannot see most people are going to see it from the worldly point of view oh i don't have a car and they're sitting and feeling bad about it they're suffering but a spiritualist or an evolved being who can see things in a much better way would probably think of a lot of other things that okay i don't have a car loan to pay or i can take public transportation or i don't even travel that much why should i keep uh, a baggage and then keep maintaining it or they can have tons of other things that can make them feel very relieved reassured and also very lucky and in many cases in most cases if a spiritualist is evolved they are also going to feel very blessed for not having the things that a materialistic person or a worldly person is crying over not having this and they're sitting and crying in a corner but the spiritualist is happy the spiritualist is like thank you god i don't have this it's great i don't have it so whosoever i'm channeling today is able to see the world wearing completely different kind of glasses because what they are seeing and what a normal person is seeing is absolutely different and one more thing that is happening uh, with the person for whom i'm channeling today is they are not scared of the future anymore like they don't have anxiety of what's going to happen they are not bothered about what the world is going to say to them they are not bothered about age they are not bothered about the amount of wealth they have or savings they have or savings they don't have resources they have or they don't have they are actually living on a day to day basis they know that god is going to take care of them because god has always been taking care of them and they're just living their life every day like an observer and every day they're also looking for things that they can work on they can learn i mean they've realized that all the people who come to this planet and this is also very beautifully put in shrimad bhagavad gita where they say why are you crying what are you crying over what are you crying over because you literally came here empty handed when you came to this planet you had nothing on you nothing literally nothing so what are you crying over whatever you got you got it here whatever you received you received from other people or whatever parents legacy or if not that then just your kismat your luck whatever was written in your destiny so what's the point of feeling bad if you lose out on something so these statements actually help those people who've lost something and they're crying over it they're feeling bad over it so this statement from shrimad bhagavad gita is not only very practical for a spiritualist with an activated intuitive ability they feel like they don't want to take the burden this is the burden of ignorance this is the burden of unnecessary responsibilities unnecessary baggage they don't want to take any of it the extra hard work i mean if they really want to do hard work then they might as well do it in inner work or they might as well try to figure things out i see this person has deep gratitude now because they're literally seeing the magic that happens on a daily basis the magic of life the magic that is not visible to ordinary eyes but it's visible 
to whosoever I'm channeling, whosoever resonates with it. Basically, surrendering to source has given you things that were never given to you by the worldly people. Whosoever you looked up to in the worldly world, whatever things, whatever dreams, goals, desires, this, that, whatever you thought or you were programmed to believe that this is going to make you happy, this is going to make you grow, this is going to give you progress. And anybody who's telling you otherwise, anybody who's telling you otherwise, you know this person doesn't know it yet. Because the knowledge that they are imparting is bullshit. So you can differentiate between nonsense and real deal stuff. It's festival time in India. So people are bursting crackers. Uh, although I'm not in favor of people bursting crackers. But if some people feel happy bursting crackers, good for them. And uh, maybe some kids are enjoying this festival by doing so. Now here are a few lines that have been given to me by one of the souls one of the people who figured this out and they probably wanted to share it via this channeling so i was once asleep lost in the illusions of the material world chasing things that distracted me from the truth like so many others i was drawn to the allure of physical beauty wealth power and fame but now i see clearly these are not inherently wrong but only tools that should serve a greater purpose they should not be the destination but a part of the journey to be used wisely in the service of something higher something divine there was a time when i resisted there was a time when I resisted pain, avoided discomfort and sought only positive experiences. Yet it is through the darkest moments, the negative experiences that I began to truly see they were my greatest teachers. They opened my eyes to the vastness of life beyond the visible, beyond the surface and showed me the truth of who I am. I have come to realize that these challenges, these moments of suffering were not punishments or misfortunes, rather they were guiding lights pushing me closer to my soul's purpose. Beautiful, isn't it? Through the stillness, to the stillness, through surrender, I have found something the material world could never offer me. It's a sense of peace, of gratitude and of presence that goes beyond anything I've ever known. I realize now that some of the things I once desired so deeply were limitations preventing me from receiving what is truly meant for me. I am learning to discern between the attachments that serve my growth and those that hold me back. I have learned that love, truth exist in balance between acceptance and awareness. And I know that fear, as much as it tries to control, can no longer hold power over me. Right, people, so on this lovely note, I'm gonna be closing this channeling for personal readings and for therapy sessions. You can check out the description box and you can book it with me, the full course, or you can get into single sessions also. You can also get my book, In the Name of Love, A Journey of Finding Your Ultimate Soulmate. And also, if you want to be on the matchmaking and friendship list, then hop on to page Adrian and click that tier and get onto that tier it is just $40 so in $40 not only you get all of this lovely content you can support it but you can be a part of this exclusive database which helps you to find interesting people the idea is not just to get fixated on partnership or romantic one but is to connect with people who are in the same vibrational periphery as you are and then see where it goes because in this journey it's always good to have more people who are like-minded and who have the same type of thought patterns like you have to be that support system that you never really had i will see you in the next one one love peace out and victory to ram